Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Animalia, where we are waiting for time to pass a little bit. You notice that time's gone on a bit. We're close up on 90,000 people. Our district over here, little district over here, has got people in it, and apparently many, many buses. Lots of buses, lots and lots of buses. I might need to adjust this. Um, this is filling up. Slowly but surely, we're getting more and more people arriving and filling in our huge new district. The happy hippos, or the hippo happies, they're all again filling up. The lots of red lights, red light district, red light hippos. Do we have hippopotamus prostitutes? Or hippo prostitutes? I'm marmosettily confused about the fact that we might have hippopotamus based prostitutes, but if that's what boats your float, then I'm not going to complain about it too much. We do apparently have a bit of a traffic jam over here. Um, which I'm going to resolve, judging by the fact that it's that kind of shape, I am probably going to resolve by putting in a roundabout. So I'll see you after the edit. I added a triangle. It's a set of three lane roads going around in a circle like this. So essentially what we've got, oh, I spot some traffic lights. I don't want traffic lights. Switch traffic lights. Traffic lights off. Just get moving. Um... Yeah, so now the traffic just goes in and goes out. There's nothing stopping or backing this up onto here. They come off the motorway, they get down onto here, and then they're onto these roads and they're on their way. And it works quite nicely. Yeah, it's a few sharp turns and the rest of it, but it keeps the traffic moving, which is really what I wanted. Yeah, okay, it seems to be okay there. Rather, it was actually double lane there, but I suppose technically that counts as going off that way, so... Doesn't appear to be too much of a problem. So, this is our 50th episode, and I was trying to work out what we want to do. And I decided, well, since we discovered that we've got farming over here, and as the dawn rises, we will add an industrial area. We will add a farm to Animalia. We're actually going to keep some animals in our city, not just in the zoo, not just fish in our new aquarium. We will actually add some animals. So, We've got a nice chunk of cash because I let the game run. We're at 86,000, 91,000 people. You see all the moving in. All the moving ins are going along. These guys will fill up eventually when we get them all workers. But, so, to that end, do we want to put any kind of shorefront along here? Let's see, what kind of extent do we have? All right, so there's not much of a farming area. Um, I don't even know. Yeah, so essentially it's just going to be a grid, a small area that should come roughly up to the edge of the airport out to here and then round again. So let's put the outer road in. So knowing you can't leave that layup in at the same time, um, we'll leave it as a cycle lane. Nice. Simple road to begin with. So we will just go along here. We will just add in a essentially a bounding box around where our farm district is going to go. We're going to put some nice tree roads in so it just looks a little bit prettier and so we will then just grid this up as best we can I think probably I'm going to make it reasonably high density so I think we'll be looking at upgrading at least this front road and leaving that one on the uh, as it is and then we will be running let's keep things simple with a one-way system No, no, come on. I know there's a spot here, so there we go. Let's turn the snapping off so I can get a little bit of extra more precise control. There, so you go there that way. And we'll also have going that way, and then we will run a road right up the middle, going back the other way. Yep, okay, I'm happy with that. So down up and down. So if we replace this with one way road and upgrade you to that and then we switch again to one way road. Which way are you going? Going down, down, up, down, up. 
So let's switch the direction of you. So, thinking roads, that's an in, that's an in. So we want to come off the highway into these two locations. So, do we want a roundabout? No, it's going to be a busy industrial area. Roundabouts do tend to just get a bit clogged. So we will be not doing us a um, diverging diamond because we don't have a road that goes on from here. Two lane, plain street. It's new. What do you look like? Ah, just a road with no markings. Nice for the flatter areas, I think. Edible parking spaces. Supports local traffic. Well, we don't want local traffic. We want heavy industrial traffic at this point. So, that's an inn and that's an inn. So we want a road that serves as an inroad. Yeah, we can try uh, doing some kind of feeder road system. So, you are the road that comes in. Let's just leave you on the ground level for now. You are the road that comes in or serves the inward. Let's put this back up. You are the road that serves the inward lines. So from out to here. I would like to connect you up like that. That's like that. And then I would like to connect you up to the motorway system. So you are cars going this way. Get our curve on. Come out and come around. And we want cars going the other way. So we will grab you, come out, come up. Wow. That's um let's go the other way. Let's just dig down. Because I think perhaps at this point that might be a little bit more rational. There we go. Go to have a mountain side, you should probably at least go into it rather than trying to go over it like that. Okay, so both going in. So there's the in roads, and now we want out roads. So this going in the opposite direction. A straight line. It's the out road. So connect to there, connect to there, connect to there. So you head on out. In fact, actually, I'm going to reverse your direction. Because I reckon it's going to be an awful lot easier. Connect you up that way. So you are the out road. So we can look at 90 degrees. But I will probably want that one. Uh, no, I'm pretty happy with it. You come out from there and join to that. Not quite. Not quite. I'm going to have you stay the two lane road. I'm going to have you arc out to about there ish. Then come around to there for that row, but also come around to that one. So if you are trying to get into this area, you have an exit there that brings you around, an exit there that brings you around. I will make that a double road as required. Split and split, so I think this from here only needs to be a single lane. We're getting out. Double lane, double lane, getting out, come off from there, come off from there, come off from there, and that gets you out onto this road, that gets you down onto that road. Nice. Alright, so we'll see how this kind of feeder road system works. We've got these two lane roads down the end that let people shuttle back and forth between how they want to get on and off. Have to wait and see how well these ones work, how much traffic we get in these areas, whether or not we want to switch to some kind of one way or direct the system along here, basically saying, but yeah, we we'll want some kind of feeder system. Maybe we should put 
Yeah, I'm going to try this. I am outright going to delete that road down the middle. And... So if you want to serve as one of those farms and go to somewhere else in the system. Hmm. And I'm going to put that road in just a little bit further away. Just like that. Just so it is a little bit further away. Yeah, I think that works. I'm pretty sure that works. Possibly the only thing I am going to add is just to make sure that people have a convenient option. I want a straight. I wanted a curve. Uh, not the bulldozer. I'm going to add that in, so that should anyone want to get back onto the top of these, it's just a case of going around from there. No, I don't want to delete that. Whoops. There we go. Right. Now we need to paint. Uh, we're up on mark. It's big enough for a marquee tool, I think, here. That. Now we need to put a new district in. Make sure we catch as much as possible. Painting time. Birdsong district. I'll take that. I'll take that as a name. Thank you, game. Industrial specialization. Farming. Any policies we want to put in? Harsh prison centers, water usage, scope for leisure, industrial space planning. No, I'm pretty happy with that. So there's a new district, it's the Birdsong district. Right, so we need to connect this up with the rest of our network. So, um, water first. Can we go straight down the middle and fill the gap? Yes, we can. Done. It's water. Power will run from over here to there. Come along that edge. Just down the middle there. Down the middle there. That's kind of annoying. Can we do that, aren't you? Yeah, fine. And then arbitrarily that. So that's power in. Uh, we will need a bit of fire service. We will need some police. I don't think we'll do a hospital. A med clinic, I put in. Yes, we will need some police. Don't just call. We'll need a bus route. So you're the road going goes that way. Your way that goes down that way. Okay, so if we just have here it goes, takes advantage of our zigzaggy pattern. Okay, click, 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 and start there. Go up. Along the middle here, along there, along here. So we'll double down in that road, fine. Back up to here, great. One district done. We'll name that bus line. It should be bus line 51. That's our line. Birds on glow, birds on line. Done. Now we need to talk metro. Probably better off we just stick a station in the middle. 
think probably doing a little bit of rearranging here. Um, the airport line I will reconnect into this one here. That is a dedicated line, and then it'll we'll have the monkey junction come up to here, leave the monkey connection there, and then come out on a bird song connection over to here. So we want an MTR station there and an MTR station there. In fact, let's move you onto the other side of the road. We will get our lines out. We will disconnect you from there. Instead, we will have a line that comes out from here. Space can be occupied. Oh, okay. So, didn't worry about that last time. You come out to there so that we can drag that over to here. Stops like that. And we'll then pull that back a little bit. Drag that tunnel along to there, and we should be just be able to go straight across from there to there. Create a new line. Start from here, from there, to there to there, and come in on this side, that stop, that stop, and then loop round. Okay, so we have a dedicated airport line that comes into the centre of our city, so that should have very little extra traffic on it, and we have our new line coming along on here, we'll grab that, that's the train lines, so this will be Metro line number 14. Make that a very, very dark, very dark green. And you are Bird Song Sing. That'll do nicely for me. Six stops, 20 passengers. You sort by passengers. Well, that was a lot on Koala Clockwise and Medicines, but then our major, these are our major connections, so I'm pretty happy with that. So you come out to there. That's that done. That's my telephone poles. Do we need any parks out here? Let's, I don't know, let's at least get the police somewhere to, um, have a little bit of happiness, but I don't think they'll desperately need it. I don't think we've got any new buildings. Wow, that's a lot of leather in that space. Are we getting close from the tourism, perhaps? Right, so along that list, everything is connected up. Unpause. And then we probably have to wait a while. Wait quite a while, to be honest. You're all complaining about power. There's a power line very nearby. Okay. We will do the park trick. And we will put a basketball board in. Uh, where will we put a basketball board in? Let's put a basketball board in there. Yes, thank you, that does connect across. So all these cars, I'm going to police agents, I'm going to dash on out. Now, I have no idea how quickly this is going to fill up. I have zoned it. Might take a while, we don't have any industrial demand at all at the moment. Just a bit, apparently. But yeah, fine, that'll do. Yep, yeah, okay. Thank you very much for watching this episode of City Skylines. I've been the Marmoset. We're toying with a new kind of industrial connection layout. I mean, the police cars appear to be using it reasonably well. I'll wait and see how they get on from there. I mean, we're not going to anyone moved in just yet. That entire district is completely empty, but this is something I'm going to suspect is going to happen for a while until the city, you know, populates a bit more.
But in the interim, thank you very much for watching. This has been another Let's Play of City Skylines in the town of Animali with the After Dark expansion. I'll see you in the next episode. Please remember to like and subscribe.